welcome to the Create Studio channel. I'm Gemma and I'm here to spend some creative time with you today with a really easy project making cardboard initials. Today is the last project with cardboard materials that we're going to be doing since we focused on that for the month of October. In November we're going to be focusing on natural things like twigs and branches and pine cones and other fun stuff. So stay tuned for those but in the meantime let's make a cardboard initial. At the studio, we've made those many, many times for birthday parties where we'll make an initial for each of the kids coming to the party and we find them to be just a lot of fun to decorate. So you'll want a piece of cardboard. I have my favorite boxes that I cut up and save some parts for. So I've got two boxes here, two box pieces. And I'm gonna have those as the focal shape that I'm gonna be cutting the, the letter out of because I cut them freehand. And it might be fun though for you to try either freehand or draw them out in advance. So I'm gonna do an easier letter on one piece and a harder letter on the other. So for the harder letter, which I'll start with, I did draw kind of a circular shape because I'm gonna make the letter S, but I find that it helps me have that shape to cut it. And I do that if I'm cutting an O or a C or a Q or are there any others? I can't think of them. So for we get started on this, we just need our scissors and then I'm going to cut it out all the way around. And you can use lighter weight cardboard boxes for this project like um, cereal boxes and things like that. You still probably want to trace out your shape first and everybody has their own writing style so yours will be a little different so now I've got an oval shape then I'm gonna cut into it and I'm gonna actually I'll draw it for you I'm making a kind of a thicker letter so that is what I'm gonna be cutting out and so at first I start here and I'm just cutting it up to that line to meet it. Then I'm going to go here, cut up to that. Then I have to curve around. I kind of take it from both sides to meet in the middle. There we go. So I got half my S. Now the bottom half or the other half. Oftentimes I cut them right side up and then when I look at them afterward, I decide they look better upside down. S's anyway. So we got this one. And at the studio when we would use our letters to decorate, we would have paint and buttons and beads and other little interesting things that the kids can glue onto them to really make them personal. See, this is what I mean. It looks better like this, but it does have a little gouge out of this piece. But that's how we get our shape for the S. Now this one, I'm just gonna cut an E, and that's really basic. I'm gonna cut, and I do all the letters as capital letters. I find them easier to cut. So in this one, I'm cutting out notches. And actually, I think I won't even need this end. So I've got this end I'm gonna cut off. That's part of my E. I've got this end. And then I always make the middle a little shorter. And we have an E. So the fun thing you can do with this, I have a little bit of paint handy. You can decorate your letters. You can make, oh, my paint is pretty thick and gloppy. But you can make a polka dot scene on your letter. You could make a striped scene on your letters. You decorate them however you want. The fun thing about cardboard is it's pretty durable so it can handle paint and glue and other things that are heavier like buttons and beads that you'd want to put on them. You can do a different piece of cardboard to make a letter for your whole name and string it up and hang it in uh, a room to display. You can, I was thinking of another design to do. I'll just stick with a polka dot. You can do all kinds of different things 
to use these cardboard letters in your home for festive fun all year round. So there we have our letters. I hope you enjoy this idea and make your own cardboard letters. We'll see you next month with a new project. Have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.